Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Etc. And I'm here today to bring the review for Fairy Tale Manga Chapter 462. Now, let's just talk about it really. So, I'm just going to talk about the important stuff. So, we know that Brandish is locked up in a cell in the bottom of Fairy Tale somewhere. We see Lucy, she comes and she wants answers obviously because she... Brandish refers to Lucy as Layla's daughter. So, obviously, Lucy wants answers. She wants to know how Brandish knows her mum but she's not getting this information from Brandish. Brandish is not trying to give this information up. The only thing Brandish is saying is kill me while you still have the chance and of course what do we find out soon after? Like I said the only reason Brandish got captured and brought to the guild is so the plot can go a certain way and who do we see waiting outside fairy tale saying that he can easily infiltrate. We then later find on the situation of what's going on in all the different parts, you know, north, south, east and west, what's going on in each area and who's going to each area to help out in that sense. And then we also find out that how Natsu is missing and I'm going to go into that a little bit later. What I should have mentioned before that, that is that we see Zarif and he mentions and he, for me it's a hint to that Azeri is the Desert King is not out of this fight just yet because he mentions how they have him and Brandish have been defeated but not killed and for this reason I think Azeri is not quite done and he might hop back into things later on hopefully. We see yeah like I said previously we see how everybody's being split up who's going where what teams etc etc I can't remember all the teams off the top of my head so you know you've read the chapter so you know who's splitting off to where but we get to see that how the four heavenly kings of Ish Ishkar are getting involved in that and now that's good you know four heavenly kings they've been hyped up for a long time but my response to that really is where is Gildart? They had to contact these four, four Donnies so my question is, Fairy Tale is at war. Why haven't they contacted their their part of their guild top guy? Where is Gildarts? Am I the only one that seems to remember, realize that Gildarts is not present right now? Has Hero forgotten? Gildarts, where you at, bro? Something that's less surprising is Natsu's way of doing things. I mean, not his way of doing things. What he's done, what he does in this in this chapter, he's going off and he's flown off straight to Zarif. He's had he's had enough of this long term fight, and he's just bringing it to Zarif straight away. I'm quite surprised that he didn't do this sooner. But we see at the end of the chapter, he's had enough to Zarif to finish this once and for all, and that's how the chapter ends. You know, this chapter was set up for things to come later, you know, when you have war, you have a break in between the war, like just to re-strategize and regroup and rethink and whatnot. This is exactly what this chapter was. So I'm just gonna give it a free star rate and a cool little review. Like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day.